Alrighty guys, this is the official flight video of the 3D Aeroworks PA-28T and the files for this aircraft are going to be available for download very soon. Oh, that's it. Christian should explode better on the ground when it's there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's so messed up. That's so messed up. How do you feel about that? How does that make you feel? How does that? I need a therapist now. <laughs> <laughs> Prototype, he said. Work in progress. Oh, God. So it's not actually released yet. Oh, God. So what's his name? Uh, Mark sent me the files. He flew it. Dude, the thing flies. It, from the videos that I've seen, it flies great. Just because it flies great doesn't mean you're going to fly great. <sighs> Listen, Linda. <laughs> I don't think that people realize how much work you got to put into this. I know, dude. Because no, the I... wires coming through the wings. I mean, there's a lot. No, it's not even that. How long did it take you to actually glue all this and set it all up? So... At this point, my ADHD was ADHD in, and I went on a very lengthy explanation that didn't actually answer Jay's question. But to answer Jay's question, finally, probably about a month. Give or take about a month. Full stab. Yeah. She's a stab. You guys see the whole system. Actually, you can see the servo. If you look right in there. I feel like it might be beneficial if you were on an AR-630 in these type planes and set up a gyro right off the jump for the maintenance, just to keep, help keep it level. Just to get it in the air. I do have an AR-630, but it's in that F-5 that I got to swap me because everybody I've spoken to about that plane, they said that it is the fastest. And I, the videos that I've watched, dude, the thing comes in so hot. Why haven't you flown that yet? I haven't come out here yet. This must have been my first time out here in a while. Plus, I was going to bring it today, but I wanted to fly the flight of a ball more. I like the way that thing flies. Yo, shout out to FMS. Big yellow. Your rudder ain't working? There you go. I don't have any flaps for some reason. Yeah, this one's backwards. Amateur. It's amateur hour. Over amateur here. hour. 20. This guy got me out here at 23 degrees and he's plugging in servos backwards. <laughs> what are we doing? We're jumping the plane? Yeah, suck it. <laughs> like a bunch of big kids. I there love it. There we go. Oh. Look at you, 100% speed. Yeah, but, uh, can I just make sure everything's on the right way? I like that. Dude, it, it, it keeps your hands nice and warm. So I got a winter coat for his hands. For those of you guys that are new to my page, I 3D print and build most of my RC airplanes. Yes, this airplane is 100% 3D printed. Now, when you purchase something from these designers, you're not getting a physical product. What you're getting is an STL file that you then slice on a slicing program like Pura, Bamboo Studio, Prusa Slicer. You send that file to your 3D printer. It spits out a bunch of these little parts. You then glue them together using CA glue. I use Starbond CA glue. I'm not sponsored. I just really like the product. Once you're done putting all those sections together, you're ready to install the electronics. And then once your electronics are installed, you have a fully functioning RC airplane for a fraction of the cost of what you would pay from a major manufacturer. And if you crash, you just print it again. I'm half flaps, right? Oh, nerves are right here, man. Ugh. Okay, I'm on low rates. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Better than uh, your last three. Guys, I just want to take a minute to acknowledge the fact that all of this amazing footage is thanks to my good friend Jay. I wouldn't have any of this video without him. If you aren't subscribed to his page yet, go on over there and give him a subscribe. I didn't hear you click any trim. It's good. Yeah, it's just chilling up there. I might need a little down, but otherwise it's... it's... Come up. Rocking and rolling, man. Definitely looks good up there. I love that T-tail. Right. Yeah, it might look really good. So that is 
actually an homage. I pulled up when I crashed the F4 Phantom. I pulled the, the navigation lights out and I just ran extensions. I just soldered extensions onto them and I shoved them in these wings. Yeah, it looks good. It's nothing crazy, but, yeah, it, but it, it's, it's just enough to make it look. I had a headlight in there too, but it was it was meant to be run with lower voltage, and I burnt both the LEDs out. That's a good flame, dude. It kind of reminds me of the Icon A5 with that tail like that. Oh, you know, it kind of does, yeah. yeah. I may need mid rates honestly, because the low rates on that elevator. The wind comes from our left, it feels like. Yeah, yeah now it changes. Yeah. It's been up for three minutes, ten seconds. Okay. I'll do one more pass and I'll come in. I'll come past this real low. Oh, this is good. Because this thing will take off the grass. I just wanted to do the maiden off of the concrete. Beach planes people take off in the Hamptons and they buzz the water. Oh, yeah. That's what it looks like. It looks like one of those. <laughs> How are we feeling about it? I love it. Yeah. It was worth the time to build. Oh, yeah. And you recommend people building it? Oh, absolutely. Can we crash it? People really like explosions. We didn't get an explosion yet. I do apologize. <laughs>